Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here. Welcome back to another video. So today we've got quite a lot to go over. It's gonna be a bit of a news roundup here on the channel. We've got 6.3, of course, to talk about. Not that there really is that much to talk about there, but actually one of the things that may have flown under the radar for you guys is that the VHX supposedly got a nerf, but I think it's actually turned out to be a buff. So as always, we're gonna get into all of that stuff in a second, but if you guys do enjoy the content here on the channel, don't forget to hit the sub button. We will be covering everything moving into season seven when it releases this March. I also just wanted to inform you guys and let you all know that I've decided some time ago that I wanted to start a second YouTube channel. And this channel is focusing on a new real-time strategy game that has always been somewhat of a passion for me called Stormgate. It's made by some of the ex-Blizzard people who worked on games like Starcraft, Warcraft, and some of them also worked on Command & Conquer. So just wanted to put it out there that if you guys are interested in that kind of content i'm going to leave a link down below and you guys can go and follow me on that channel i didn't want to go and put it here on the ghost gaming channel because i know there's going to be a lot of people here who just aren't interested in that and i didn't want to clog up the channel with non-battlefield related things so yeah as always guys any support you show me here on this channel or on that channel is massively appreciated so thank you so much for taking the time all right let's just jump straight in here so as most of you will know update 6.3 released yesterday for battlefield 2042 and normally the day after on a wednesday i will be doing my first impressions and letting you guys know what i think about the patch unfortunately with this update there really just isn't anything for me to comment on there's just there was really nothing in it there was a bunch of bug fixes some slight improvements and tweaks to the game but there's really nothing to talk about here except for one thing the spectator mode does look pretty promising. I'm going to show you guys a video here that was posted by the Battlefield Bulletin. It does seem rather rudimentary. As you see, you get the four names of your squad members at the bottom of the screen. You click on them, you get a third person perspective. I don't think you can switch into a first person perspective, which would be really cool, in fact. And then you can show the player card. Outside of that, it doesn't look like there are any other controls. So like I said, it's pretty bare bones, but I think this definitely shows promise. And I hope this is a sign that DICE are going to continue working on the spectator mode, not just to flesh it out and bring it with more features, but also bring it into all out warfare. Because at the moment, it's not really serving any purpose. Hardly anybody is even going to see this feature in a portal mode. So I really think they want to bring it to all out warfare. I for one would love to do some spectating stuff. Not only would it be interesting to capture screenshots and some video and stuff like that, but I would just also love to spectate other players in the game. Just see what they're doing, man. Just go and spectate people. It's It looks super fun. I've seen Enders doing this and it is quite interesting. Now, one of the more important changes that actually came just a day before update 6.3 released was a nerf to the VHX that DICE made to the game on the server side. So they said, taking on board player feedback regarding the efficiency of the VHX D3, we have now deployed a server side change on Battlefield 2042 with some balance changes for this weapon. So dispersion will now increase faster as more consecutive shots are fired while also decreasing faster once firing has ceased burst fire is now more effective than full auto so dispersion is going to increase faster as you fire shots but it's also going to decrease faster now once you let go of the trigger and you use it to burst fire hip fire starting accuracy has been reduced while standing and interestingly here horizontal recoil has been reduced by 10 percent to promote long range burst firing so that right there the horizontal recoil that is actually a buff for this weapon. Now, for those of you who watched me on stream on Monday, I decided to jump straight in and give this weapon a go. I think I can pretty much say after playing with it for a few rounds that it feels exactly the same to me. It doesn't feel like it's had a nerf at all, so much so that if you would have never told me that it had been nerfed, I would have never had a clue. So if DICE's goal here was to bump this weapon down from being used by everybody in the game and dethrone it from being the best weapon in the game, I would honestly say that they failed. In fact, I may even go so far as to say that this weapon has seen an overall buff here because horizontal recoil, as you will know, is something that you cannot control in the game. But guess what? You can control vertical recoil and you can control your spread. And in those regards, the weapon really doesn't feel any worse to me now than it did before and it just has better horizontal recoil, causing you to miss less of those shots at longer ranges. And this is where it gets even more interesting. So they also decided, in the name of transparency, to post a graph showing the changes to the weapon against the M5A3 and the AM40. 
So they say here is a graph following today's VHX balance change and how that change now compares to the M5 and the AM40 while aiming down sights and static. The VHX is the most selected assault rifle and following this change we will continue to assess feedback and data. So it sounds there like they want it to not be the most selected assault rifle, they definitely want it to be up there, be pretty good, but not the best weapon in the game. And so what you guys are looking at here is the dispersion angle on the left, so that's how much the dispersion is increasing, and then on the bottom you've got the consecutive shots. And it's flicking as you can see between before the update and after the update. And if you look at around 10 consecutive shots there, you can see that the dispersion before was a little bit lower than the other two weapons, and now it's pretty much on par. And in fact, if you continue to shoot without bursting there to 15 or 20 shots, the dispersion is actually the worst out of the three weapons. However, what I think DICE don't really realize here, or don't seem to understand about this weapon, is that the dispersion was never really the problem with this weapon. Yes, it was very accurate, and I'm sure that adding a little bit more dispersion and maybe even a little bit more recoil is definitely needed, but in my opinion, this weapon just needs an outright damage nerf. I did a whole video on this a few days ago detailing why this weapon is so much better than the AM40 and then the M5A3 that they're comparing it to here, and it seems that DICE just didn't really listen to that. Don't get me wrong though, I don't want them to go and just slap a big old nerf to the damage model of every weapon that's good because then we're just going to end up with a another weapon that's the meta and the VHX and whatever other weapons will be completely useless. I would be absolutely fine with this gradual approach to nerfing the weapon and then seeing if the pick rate goes down and if it doesn't then you nerf it a little bit more and make additional changes. What kind of is annoying to me is that it takes DICE so long to get out a tiny nerf for the weapon and what's more is that they can apparently just implement it as a server side change so they didn't even need to put it into an official update for the game they could have dropped this nerf literally any day of the week weeks ago months ago when they knew that the vhx was a problem but they didn't and then they could have you know waited a couple of weeks okay yep it's still way too good let's give it another little nerf and bring it down another notch but instead they've waited till pretty much the very end of the season here and based on how long it takes dice to get out a nerf for a weapon that is just reigning supreme i wouldn't expect any more nerfs for this weapon until like season seven releases and it's not the first time we've seen this right we saw this with the rm68 as well if you guys remember it just took forever for that weapon to finally be addressed. So, you know, I really hope DICE are going to turn around and take another look at the VHX. By all means, guys, let me know what you guys think about this down below. I've already sent a message on Twitter to the, uh, the, the, the new weapons designer, the lead weapons designer who took over, presumably from Alexander Formoso. You know, I've told him that I don't think this nerf really feels like a nerf at all. I've told him that I think they need to change the damage model, but those are just my thoughts, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of thoughts of your own so please feel free, comment down below, let me know what you think of the weapon, and let's get a conversation going there. Just before we close out the end of the video here, I also wanted to mention that as part of update 6.3, the four plushies that you could find as an easter egg around Redacted, they have now been reactivated. So for some reason there was, there was like a little bug around them or something, they had to deactivate them, and they are now back and can be found again. I don't have a guide for it here on my channel, but I know that the Cadwoman Mary, she put out a really good guide on this, so I recommend checking out her channel if you want to do it i do think this is one of the few easter eggs in the game that is worth doing at least for me if you like cute little fluffy weapon charms if not well it's probably something that you can skip but that is going to do it for this one guys thank you so much for watching the video today as always leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more battlefield content and if you missed this video the other day going over all of the update notes for update 6.3 feel free to go and check that one out but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.